So you guys probably figured out by now that the thing you need for your wood stove is kindling. Not just kindling, but I recommend you use dry kindling. I personally like softwood. I tend to get a lot of pine. And the nice thing about softwood kindling is you can pretty much get it free anywhere in the country. You go to a job site, you know, construction site, you ask them for some of their scrap wood, some of their framing lumber cutoffs, and chances are they're gonna give them to you for free because they're gonna throw them in the dumpster anyways and pay to get rid of them. So if you show up with your pickup truck, you can fill it up pretty quick and you're gonna have a whole bunch of kindling, enough for probably a few years of burning. But, you know, people use a lot of different things for kindling. You could argue which one is best. So leave in the comments below what you use for kindling. Do you use newspaper, cardboard? Do you buy fire starters? Do you make your own? I've seen people make fire starters with sawdust and old candle wax. I've seen people use fat wood. There's a lot of different ways to start a fire. I've tried a lot of different ways and I tend to not like the cardboard and the newspaper, that kind of stuff, because it tends to smoke more than I like. I like using nice, dry, softwood pine. I keep this by the stove for the first few weeks while I'm running the stove and it dries this kindling out real nice and it just lights super easy, snap, crackle and pop and you're good to go. But I'm actually gonna be doing, I think a few firewood videos and wood stove type videos because it is an important topic and it's a really important thing to know about safety for this time of year when a lot of people are gonna be starting up their wood stoves and there's also gonna be a lot of first time wood burners. Speaking of that, last year I did a whole series on things you should know about firewood. I cover topics from storing your firewood, the best way I consider to store it, topics like BTUs and how to determine them, what they mean, topics like moisture content and how it relates to your firewood, all kinds of different things. So please check out the playlist. I'll link it in the description of this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got something out of it and I'll see you next time.